In this video, I want to talk about what is working right now on the short side. The uh, This type of price action this week has been challenging because the market gaps down. And then there's a big counter trend rally and stops out a lot of shorts. And so it does make sense, though, if you think about how this works, that it should work. And what it does is if the market gaps down, we rally 1% off the lows to short it. Sounds like a great methodology because a recency bias would tell us that yeah, that's what the market has been doing. I've got easy language code for this as well. I'm going to show you that here. How has this worked? So I'm going to show you how this has worked. And you, what, I, what I do in trading portfolio, trading system portfolios, I look at what's working now and what would have, if it would have worked in the past. If it hasn't worked in the past, will it work in the future? Or if throwing in a choppy equity curve like now, like this, would improve our diversity enough, even though it's not a great standalone strategy the diversity that this would get us at times like this, would that improve the would that improve um, our strategy? So let's take a look at this now. Since um, since Mar the beginning of March, around March the 10th, this has really done well. If you take a look at the periodical turns, up 7,000 this year, up 16,000 in 2020. Um, but if you look at the um, results since March. So nice gains, and this month it's really doing well. I think it's having one of its best months. It's a pattern. Oftentimes, in patterns that um, have ne have are working better now than they've ever worked in the past, then it it's uh, you know it could be the uh, explanation for why your current strategies aren't working. Is the market changing? We're just having a really one-off month, or is this a really good pattern to trade? Can we? Is there a way to improve this strategy? So. 19,000 in March of 2020. We know they had that big pandemic sell off. And so this does not have a profit target on it. So I'm going to show you the easy language code and we're going to take a look at this it's called short rally gap down. And so what it does between 10 o'clock Eastern time and 1530. So 30 minutes after the open and 30 minutes before the close of the day session, uh, the entries, there's less than five entries on the day. And the open is less than is is more than a half a percent lower than the previous day's close. Open D and close D represents the daily uh, closes of one day ago. This is the open of today because the zero is here. That's open of today. Close D of one is the daily close of yesterday, and half a percent lower than yesterday's close. And when you sell short, next bar at 1.10 percent or 1.01 of the low of the day. So we sell short next bar at, at a 1% rally off the lows on a limit order. We use a $3,000 stop loss. We exit at 1600. Um, if it's at 1600, we just do a market order. We have the set exit on close to capture holiday trades that would occur potentially where the market would close before 1600. So let's, um, let's take a look at this again. You can see the trade that's taken this week certainly makes sense. Gap down, 1% rally, short it. What happens if we um, we add a profit target? Let's start with a $500 profit target and a $3,000 stop loss. Not a desirable ratio, but if it works, it could um, it could be beneficial. The thing that I like about it is it gives you room, but also you have to consider days where it's real choppy. It rallies and then sells off a little bit, rallies and sells off a bit, rallies and sells off a bit, rallies and sells off a little bit. And so then you get these um, additional profits in a range. And so um, if you look at the monthly returns, it's more consistent. The equity curve is certainly more consistent since September of 2020. So you get this uh, nice rising equity curve and you get a high percentage of profitability it's $17,660 in 2022 with an 88.8% profitability. But it's certainly the best year uh, this strategy has seen since 2010. And it is, uh, you see a good, you see it did well in January and February. But, um, you know, 2021, January 2021, uh, this time period right here. But overall, um, you know, you're taking a look at this. This look at the average trade profit, $45. Not great. This year, the average trade profit is much higher. And so, 
you know, if, if we knew for sure that this would be it's over $100 average trade profit here. So if we knew for sure that going forward um, it would work this well, uh, it would be a good strategy to trade. But because it hasn't, you know, you have to decide, should I add this in here with the trailing stop loss on the equity curve? Um, I need something that does well in choppy market conditions when there's good opportunities is short rallies. And so this strategy is certainly intuitive for what for the current market environment that we've seen where we try to short the market and it rallies and then goes sideways. And so let's take a look once again at the easy language code. And you're going to be able to download this from our easy language uh, members area. What, what about a $1,000 profit target? So you're going to take less trades on the $1,000 profit target. And so your average trade profit may be higher, but the equity curve will be you know, it looks, it's upward. It's not a, a nice looking equity curve. The average trade profit is 60. So that's higher. Um, what about a $3,000 profit target to match the stop loss? Let's take a look at that and see how that works. $73. You get a $73 average trade profit. Uh, you get a much more volatile equity curve. So in a strategy like this, uh, tighter profit targets reduce your average trade profit, but make the equity curve look better. This is the beginning of a uh, strategy approach. It's not uh, not fully developed, not one that would probably do well trading as is. It would do well in 2022, and uh, if there can be some justification to make to trade it going forward, then um, we'll certainly let you know um, about that or any improvements in this strategy that we could use to uh, maybe filter out some of the bad trades and continue to take some of the good trades. Here it is with a $500 profit target again. Go to CapstoneTradingSystems.com and take a look here at the, as you scroll down, members area, Capstone Trading, YouTube, easy language examples. I'll put the code in there. You can sign up for this members area. It's free members area with easy language code and workspace for TradeStation 10 to go over the strategy that we went over in this video. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.